accomplishments of the program recently, what we're doing, the direction that we're going. So tell me where you're located. So we're so um, I'm going to cut some of this stuff. And so this um, I put this. I had our communications folks put this together for you. It's just a uh, quick two-page overview. Of what have we Let's done? check it out. Um, what are we doing? And that kind of stuff. Um, so um, and you're aware of some of the things we have going on. Um, key usually. Uh, Close to the folks down there. Tell me about your um, keys operation. This is so good uh, down there. Right one of the projects we have going on right now that I think is really important is uh, dealing with the lobster fishery. Uh, the lobster fishery. Yeah, they have an issue with a viral disease in the spiny lobster population. Absolutely. And it so a viral that, disease in the spiny lobster. And it seems that trap fishing, which is how they catch them, um, may increase the rate of spread. So we're working with the fishing oh, industry down oh. there to try to help them figure out how to... So is it a crisis right now? Or it's not a crisis a right now, but it's something that um, we don't can get on top of. It could be. Okay. So it's a lethal virus. So it's a, a virus, and you think that the uh, the traps that they use, their, their method of catching, well, we're working is helping to, to spread it. Well, we're working with them to see if they might adjust the way they deploy the traps, and uh, that could slow down the spread of the wow. virus. Because they don't want to wipe out their own picture. I think that's a really good characterization. That is a work. wonderful program for the Keys. You bet. And then we work, um, we have a number of projects going on with the folks at the uh, FIU with their Wall of Wind. Yes, yeah, the um, Wall of Wind. Right. I have seen that. Right. That's great. So, um, yes. you know, projects to try to design more structurally sound buildings, um, better characterize. Resilience to storms and hazards continue to be a primary concern for Florida communities. Sea Grant research focuses on helping coastal communities increase their responses to hurricanes, storm surge, and sea level rise. Boy, just looking at that photo, Sarah, that's very scary. <laughs> and it goes right there in the, into the community, and the boat is being sure. smashed about. And so one of the things we've learned recently, uh, John, the, the, the program that I, I've only been directing since July. Um, well, congrats! Um, That's and, wonderful. Um, and I came from South Florida, so I lived um, in Jupiter for 14 years. And um, one of my first questions: How do we, how do we uh, engage people that don't speak English? Because there's a lot of people. Good, who don't I like that. And, what are you, and, what are you and, doing? And so what we've been doing, and this is so this is just getting off the ground. We partnered with this group. Um, now this is a West Coast group. Led Latina you know, de Educación Ambiental. These guys, very good. Okay, so they've that got works. an active network going on um, over in Lee and Collier County. And what we've been doing right now is just, I'm just getting off the ground. We're partnering with them on producing their newsletter. So each time they do a newsletter now, we have two. And I bet that is difficult for them to uh, to translate because some of it is scientific language. Right, right. So you've been having these uh, meetings in Fort Myers, Arcadia, Arcadia, Bowling Green, and then we'll try, then we'll try to carry that around to the East Coast. So bring, yeah, come on around. down. Come on down yeah. to Miami. Come on down to the Keys. I think it's going to be a much better way than just printing a bunch of our stuff in Spanish. Yes. Um, with the group that's that is great. And so, um, so, so what do you do? Let me see the. Uh, what is this? The fiber support system at the FIU. They've designed um, for buildings. That basically takes Kevlar strips and sure. winds them in through the CVS. To the bottom the part of it. Yeah. I think it makes, it'll make the, the walls much stronger. That in is. The buildings. That is so common sense. I didn't even yeah, think like, thought about it. So it's, uh, it so it's new uh, new fibers, yeah. Kevlar, and you put it and you put it on. I mean, the buildings are designed with. Well, they can, they can retrofit buildings. Oh, they can so retrofit. They can do it with an existing structure. That is cool. That's a great idea. And then, if, and if, you know how they work on to put a small version of a house into the wall and then blow it apart. Yes. I mean, they're not blowing it apart. But, but I'm so glad this partnership that you have with. Uh, Florida International University. So, right, so we're hosted by UF. Because yes. Usually the Sea Grant program is at the Land Grant University. So but we're, but the, all of the state So the big, uh, universities big are, place is right there in Gainesville. This is our office. But you though, partner, our that's region. your office, but you partner with with uh, FIU and, and right. lots of other places to So we have about a million dollars a year that comes to us from NOAA, and we have a competitive grants process, and the money goes out. One point eight million dollars to support of Florida coastal and marine research. Yes. These are the ones that have active grants right now. That's wonderful. A couple of FIU. The FIU, Calgary, yes. Calgary, 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 yeah. It's an interesting name for uh, some success stories. Though. Typically, the, the stuff we do is very applied, so it ends up after a number of years creating jobs and some new businesses. That's wonderful. Pop up down in South Florida, where they're building these little fish penny tools.
Fish venting tools, six new small businesses. Good. Proprietary versions of the venting tool. He goes there. Thank you. And then I, and I just I just pulled together, uh, it's not a complete set, but some of our partners and supporters, we work a lot with the private sector. And so um, throughout the state, we uh, it's a really good way to go to do a public-private partnership. Um, these folks know what their needs are. We can get Marine Industries Association in right. Miami. Right. Good. Close to them. We've got a, a waterway management program. Wonderful. That's a good outfit. Yep. Well, and how can we help you up here? So, the, um, so does NOAA so decide how much to give you, or are you so, yeah, singled so, out? So, kind of part, it's part of a national program, and um, and there are there are four major things that, that all of the programs focus on: sustainable seafood, healthy ecosystems, hazard resilience, and sustainable coastal development. Tell me those so, four again. Um, safe and sustainable domestic seafood supply. It's, I think it's an important national security thing, even. Yes. Um, having healthy coastal ecosystems. Um, sustainable coastal development, and you know, the economies go along with it. And then um, uh, the uh, well, hazard resilience kind of goes hand in hand at Florida with yes. sustainable development. And so um, it's, an, it's, an, it's a, a really nice national organization. Um, but in, within each state, we tailor the work we do to the needs of the state. So we work, we just developed a new strategic plan. We had 90 people in there from those stakeholder groups that I showed you. Yes. Telling us what do we need to do. What do we need to do? Um, and so so you, just had a, you just had a big meeting where you brought all these folks yep. together. Yeah, and NOAA and uh, EPA and the DEP and DAX and all the state agencies. So we try to make it a very responsive program. Good. But um, so this year's appropriation is in conference right now. So I don't know how that's going to Yes, it is. Right, Sarah? Tell it us is, about it. But we don't know what level it's at. But, right. it, but it should a, a bill should be coming out soon that lets us know sometime soon. But we were able to get I think a substantial increase in the House bill right. from the previous year, and you've always supported their letters of, of, of increased appropriations. Absolutely, we always go sign the support letters because the Florida Sea Grant does a, one, a wonderful job for all of Florida, and we love it that you have a South Florida a component, the yeah. partnership with FIU, yeah. and especially this uh, new research project about the. Uh, the virus in the yeah. and the spiny lobsters. Yeah. And so I think what we'll, you'll say is there's uh, and it, this isn't 100 percent, but I think Representative Brown and Inslee will, yes. will be. Yes. Um, so Henry Brown of South Carolina yeah. and Inslee of and so, uh, Washington so State. So your colleague letter will Jay be coming Inslee. around. And, and you it, bet we will sign it. And it'll be talking about next year's appropriation and the amount in it is just simply the the, the program was reauthorized last year, and so the amount in that letter is just the authorized level for the first year. That's wonderful. Well, it's a it's a it's a great project. It's got a wonderful history. Yeah. You've always used the money wisely. No controversy, and uh, and it's a pleasure to support you. That's great. Thanks Good. Much. And next time you come down to South Florida, sure. um, love to see your uh, the research projects that you have at FIU. Oh, well, That's I'm, my alma mater. I'm down there, and I'm down at Miami. Uh, I'm just getting down. Good. Getting and if well. you do anything yourself with the uh, with the lobster traps in the Keys, I'd really love to go with you there. Okay. Well, that'd love be great. to do it. So what time of year are you down in Florida? Oh, no. If, if I'm lucky, I'll be there tonight. Okay. No, okay. we have, uh, you know, we have flights all the time. Okay. okay. Oh, no, I live on the plane. Okay. Well, um, it's not times of the year, right? No. For me, it's uh, what it's day, what time time of the day no. <laughs> will I be down there? Well, I'll, I'll contact you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So Sarah people. is our is our contact person, and then Christine is the uh, the one who schedules the appointment. Oh, oh, good. And Sarah will business. be in the in the keys this coming week. Yes. I, mean, I, brought, I brought you this. This is not a product of Florida Sea Grant, but I I serve on a council that the Florida Legislature developed in 2006 yes. called the Florida Oceans Council. Oh, let me see. And we produced this for the legislature. It's like a primer on climate change. And, Wonderful. Because uh, I think there's a lot Big of issue. stuff that isn't objective out there. And so we tried to put something together for um, decision makers and staff that's subjective. And you know, we've got this wonderful lab down there, uh, the NOAA, um, that NOAA funds uh, the Aquarius. Yes. And so they were doing a research, they've been doing a research project long term. Oh, with Ellen. Ellen, uh, uh, Ellen yes, Prager. Yes. yes, you know Ellen. I'm on the Ocean Alliance with Ellen. So Wonderful. <laughs> Yeah. And so they've been studying um, the um, the changes in the ocean temperature yep. and the impact that it has on coral reefs. Yep. 
Yeah. So, so this is a, um, if you want more copies of this for your staff, I can send a PDF file. A this is copy. wonderful. It's kind of a what we know, what we think is probable, and what's possible, as objective as we could possibly yeah. be. And I got to go down um, diving with her twice already. And we'll be doing it in April. Maybe Sarah's coming in April. I think we're looking at May now. May, because mm -hmm. it's a little too cool. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Carl. Carl Havens. Thank you, Carl. Right, thank you. And we got the memo about uh, we're in beige today, so I'm glad that we <laughs> kind of coordinated. We wouldn't want to clash. All right. Thank you, Carl. And listen, on the appropriation items, uh, Sarah is the go-to gal. Thank you.